All right, please excuse the mess. This is just a quick video to document the progress of my CNC build. What we're looking at here is this briefcase looking deal here is my uh, heart of the CNC. It is the power supplies and I'm gonna have another box that's gonna have the drivers and I'm just gonna call that the brain. So I'm gonna have them separate and decide to have it to where I could disconnect it, take it off the machine, bring it in if I need to make modifications or things like that. Uh, I tend to make everything overcomplicated, it's just what I do. All right, so let's have a quick look. Um, this is the box. I do have two cooling fans. You can see it's a little springy, so I had some latches because I do have some weather stripping. But what we have here on the outside is this will be the top. This will be 110 volts, 120 volts in. This will be for the CNC, uh, the pump. This is gonna be the cooling pump or the water pump for my spindle. And there's a relay in here that I'm gonna actually activate with this nine volt battery. That'll be activated with the offline control unit that I'm gonna use. Um, but you have this for the pump, the CNC, and the cooling fans. I'm gonna have four total, overkill. Overthink, it just seems to be what I do. Um, it's like my first child. This is going to be uh, the input for the controller, offline controller, that'll start the pump. That's, aha, that will be the second circuit that'll have 120 volt coming in, because I do not have a 220 volts plug yet, but I will, and then I'll be able to uh, hopefully not have two separate circuits to run this. And when we open the box on the inside, main power supply comes in here, hits this circuit, runs down here to these terminal blocks, which will be line, neutral, ground. And from there, they're gonna power the power supplies. I have a 36 volt power supply here, which is gonna be my Z and my X axes. This is gonna be on my Y axis. And then this one is gonna power my offline controller, which is a 24 volt power supply. And from the offline controller, it'll provide the, the five volt uh, signal I need, as well as a 12 volt signal for uh, limit switches and things of that sort. Now this one is gonna be the separate circuit that's coming in from the top of the box, which is gonna go to my uh, VFD or my spindle. So the power's gonna come in here, hit this circuit, and then go through this relay, which will only allow the power to flow out the bottom of the box to the spindle once this power supply is, is on or recognized or flips this switch on. Sorry, I don't know the terminology. Uh, like I always say, novice, first project, so my first baby. Excited about it and may overdo some things, overthink some things. All right, so on the bottom, sorry I got off a little track a little bit. I have a 10 pin, which is gonna be the power supply for all the drivers. So the four drivers and then the offline controller. This one is two lines of power, which will run to my controller enclosure or the brains and have the other two fans for that cooling. Um, these fans do move some air in normal circumstances. I don't think they're meant for this type of an application, but um, that's why I have two. And then I decided to cut holes, add some filter material here so I can try to keep the inside of the box a little bit more clean as well as cool. So let's turn this on and hear how it sounds. It's gonna sound loud. I've already tested it. This is not the loudest fan I have where it's at. Um, my air filter, shot filtration is gonna be the loudest. This will be in the middle and then my AC unit will be the quietest. Here we go. There. It can actually feel air 
moving in. That's that's good. Go here, come out. All right. This is hooked up to this one, which will be the pump for my spindle. So then, when the controller sends the signal. Pump will go on. And back here, this is the plug. Power on, power up, pump on, pump up, pump on, pump up. That is my power box enclosure for my CNC. Um, it's actually going to be kind of like a wall mount. It's going to sit on the back of the, the CNC. It's going to have a wall on the back. This one is um, 30 inches by 16 inches, or excuse me, 15 inches. And it'll sit on the back. I believe I have, I'll have to measure it again. I believe I have 54. Four, no, sorry, 44 inches between the legs on the bottom. So the other box I have will be another 10 inch and I'm gonna have a clamping system, I believe on the way to hold them, which is why I have this little ledge to hold them onto the back. But that's still in the works, haven't figured that out. We'll keep posted as to how this build comes along. Thank you for anyone that has helped on this and the inspiration for it. Talk to you folks later, I'm excited. Back to work for me.